Hello, and welcome, friends. The NBA is actually back. That's right, on Friday, December 11th, the preseason games begin, leading up to December 22nd when the season actually starts. I got a couple of guys whose cards you might want to take a look at before all this shit unravels. The first guy is Bol Bol. There's a few things that I like about Manute Bol's son, and the first is that he's eligible for Rookie of the Year. He had a lot of hype during the bubble, we saw the prices of his basketball card shoot up to the roof, and they've all kind of calmed down. But that doesn't mean that Bol Bol's done yet. He's gone from a two-way contract to a regular contract on November 24th, which means that he should see regular minutes in the rotation, and we're going to see exactly what Bol Bol is capable of. You guys remember that crazy dunk, and he rebounded, and he went down, and he shot the three. Everything that we've seen from Bol Bol says, whoa! Let's see what he can actually do when he's given the playing time. He's got another guy to compete with, because Michael Porter Jr. seems like a very hungry and passionate basketball player who also has a good amount of skill. There are some weird trade rumors that... Nikola Jokic might get traded to the Mavericks for Kristaps Porzingis and a bag of chips. I'm not really sure if that's going to materialize though, and perhaps that's all in dreamland. But I can tell you one thing, with the contract that Bol Bol has and his opportunity to show what he's capable of, not to mention he's eligible for Rookie of the Year, I would say that his cards are pretty well priced at this point. You can get his Mosaic Rookie Card, 2019-20 Panini Mosaic, for under $3 on Compsy. His Prism Rookie is about $10. And obviously there's going to be some Donruss optic and some short prints and colored variations, but the one thing I would stay away from is the draft pick cards. We know that those cards don't really hold a lot of value unless it's a super short printed card or an autograph, so I'm not even really sure why people buy that damn product. The next guy we're going to talk about has had his ups and downs in the NBA, but mostly ups. We're talking about Floor General Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is now in the Eastern Conference playing with the Washington Wizards, and he has a stacked team. He has Rui Hachimura, he has Bradley Beal, he has Denny Advija, Adi, Adiva, Avedi, Adidas, I don't know what his damn name is, but he's got Denny Avdija. Avida, Avida Verce. The Wizards look like a sneaky sleeper team. In fact, I'm going to make a bold prediction that the Wizards are going to finish in either 5th or 6th place in the Eastern Conference. Westbrook was not happy in Houston. He wanted to be the floor general. Now, he is the floor general. Scotty Brooks is the coach of the Washington Wizards. Russell Westbrook and Scott Brooks have a history together with the OKC Thunder. They had a successful run together for 7 years in OKC, including 4 first place finishes in the Northwest. They had two semi-final conference appearances and one finals appearance, and obviously they were shot down by the Miami Heat and LeBron James. So you have a very good team, you have the coaching that he's used to, you have him in a position that he wants to be in, and you also have a weaker conference for him to attack. Not to mention, when Kevin Durant left the Thunder for the Warriors, that was the season that Russell Westbrook became the league MVP. He averaged a triple-double for the next three seasons. I think we're going to see an awakening this season from Russell Westbrook. All of the dominoes are lined up and all he has to do is tip the first one forward. Because of all of this, Westbrook's cards are going to see a pretty big explosion in price, even if it's just short term. But mark my words, they're going to make the playoffs. You've got his 2008 Tops, 2008 Bowman, and the chrome variations of those cards. Generally, they can be found in the $25 to $30 range, but there's one card that everyone is missing, and that is the 2008 Fleer 1986 retro variation. That's right, it looks just like a 1986 Michael Jordan basketball card. And as we know, that is an iconic set that everyone recognizes. It's also short printed in that it's not just a random base card you can get in every single pack. The boxes go for a few hundred bucks a piece, not the easiest card to get. Of course, there's centering issues, and the pop count at PSA is around 100 for a 10 and around 100 for a 9, with about 300 submitted overall. And you can pick those up in the $20 range, guys. And full disclosure, I went and bought a few PSA 9s for about 60 bucks a piece. Another guy you might want to take a look at is James Harden. Because of all the insanity going on, he's hanging out in strip clubs in Vegas. I'm not sure why he wouldn't want to play with the Rockets. I mean, he just got Mr. T. I mean, it's it's John Wall, but it looks like, are we going to find out that John Wall is on steroids or something? Because he left the Wizards, John Wall, and he showed up to the Rockets, Mr. T. When Harden gets on a team, whether it's a trade or whether it's the Rockets, he's going to produce and his cards are going to go back up, right? Right now, 
now people are off of Harden because they're like, what, what is he doing? What's happening here? What the hell's wrong with James Harden? I get it. Strip clubs and all this. And the NBA is fighting back. They're like, look, if you want to be a dick and you want to have 16 different teams and you don't want to play with the Rockets, then you're going to have to pass six. That's right. Count them. Six COVID-19 tests. They've given him six COVID-19 tests that he has to make it through before he can play with any team, before he can practice with any team. So because of all this, I feel like James Harden's cards are a bit undervalued. And when he does finally settle in someplace, they have the potential to move up. But again, that's just kind of a side thing. Bradley Beal's cards you could pick up. Denny Avdiha you could pick up. My favorite two guys, Bull Bull and Russell Westbrook, are the ones that I'm picking up before this preseason starts. Mark my words, it's going to make the market move. The excitement is going to be there. Somebody's going to put up a big game. And oh yeah, not to mention, who have they pitted Westbrook against? He plays on the 13th of December, and the first game back, it's against Kevin Durant and the Nets. We not only get to see what Durant looks like, but we get to see Westbrook versus Durant first game back. Think about the mindset of Westbrook. He wants to come out there and just Super Mario Mm, like going up to the top, beating down on Donkey Kong. I don't care about fire. I don't care about construction. I've got a hammer and I'm coming for your ladies. I mean, all that General Westbrook is really missing is a championship. If you look at his resume, he has almost the same resume as James Harden. He's very similar to a guy like Giannis. So I think this might be a season for Westbrook to take on the Eastern Conference. Don't forget about my guy, Jared Allen. I've got about 70 of his rookie cards and I do believe that he could be really good for the Nets. Shh. Don't tell nobody, man. Jared Allen. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Go ahead and slam dunk that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and join our growing community here at Vegas Finds. And don't forget about NBA Top Shop, the digital basketball collectible that's quite similar to Bitcoin and has a lot of potential. You can find a link to NBA Top Shop in the channel description below and go check that out. Once we figure out what this NBA hardcourt game is going to be like, there's going to be a lot of activity and attention towards NBA Top Shot. So right now is your time to get in on that guys hit the description below if you got any questions about it feel free to ask i hope you have a gem mint 10 of a day my friends and i'll catch you on the flip side